in today's video we would discuss the features of atypical cervical vertebra that is the c1 cervical vertebra which is also known as atlas vertebra so in atlas vertebra there is no body there is no spinous process or spine and it is ring shaped unlike the typical cervical vertebra it has a short anterior arch and a long posterior arch it has two lateral masses on each side one on the right side and one on the left side it has two transverse processes now the anterior arch of the atlas vertebrae is short and it has a an anterior surface which has a tubercle in midline which is known as anterior median tubercle it has a posterior surface which has a smooth oval facet that articulates with the dense or the odontoid process of the c2 cervical vertebrae the posterior arch on its posterior surface has a tubercle which is the median posterior tubercle in the midline and on its upper surface that is on the upper surface of posterior arch there is grooving on both side behind the lateral masses so this is the groove which is present behind the lateral mass on the upper surface of the posterior arch next the lateral masses so the lateral masses basically bear two facets so the superior surface of the lateral masses has elongated concave superior articular facets which are directed upwards they are directed medially and they articulate with the occipital condyles to form atlanto occipital joint the inferior surface of the lateral masses have inferior articular facets these are nearly circular flat they are directed downwards medially and backwards they articulate with the facets on the axis vertebrae to form the atlanto axial joint from either side of the lateral masses there are two transverse processes projecting on either side and the transverse processes of c1 cervical vertebrae they are unusually long in comparison to the transverse process of a typical cervical vertebrae they are unusually long and this length it provides or it acts as a effective lever for the rotatory movements that take place on the atlanto occipital joint the transverse processes are so long that they can be easily palpated on the surface of neck between the angle of mandible and the mastoid process the transverse process has foramen transversarium which is key identification feature for a cervical vertebrae it has anterior root anterior tubercle costo transverse bar posterior tubercle and posterior root as well and one more feature in respect of lateral masses is that the medial surface of the lateral masses this is the medial surface these are the lateral masses and this is the medial surface and they show rough tubercles so basically a transverse ligament is attached to both these tubercles so there is a roughness and these tubercles you will find them on the medial surface of the lateral masses so this is all about the features of the atlas vertebrae thank you so much for watching the video please do like share comment and subscribe to the channel for more such videos